We are Duke and Roberta, and after two years living abroad odd, we sold our boat in the Caribbean and we are making our way to France, where we are gonna build our new exploration aluminum sailboat. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Sunday for a new episode. Well, the time has come. After two months visiting friends in Annapolis, Canada and family in Brazil, we are finally on our last flight on our way to France, where we are gonna start our new life. A life that, I guarantee, will be full of challenges, but also full of beautiful moments. So, let's start with challenge number one, to find our new project. I know, this is not a boat, but stick with us that it will all make sense in the end of this episode. We made it 30 <laughs> seconds before the train left the station, actually. The, the bags are lost. Yeah, they lost our bags, so we lost a lot of time on Air France because they lost all our four bags and suppose they're gonna ship to us in Taha, we'll see. But at least we made the train, and now we have two hours to Lyon, and we get a car and we drive to... We made it! City. New life! every single bag. So we are passing by Lyon. And it's the third biggest city in France. Just lose to Paris and Marseille. So it's a really big city, but we're gonna go to a little tiny town that's like an hour from here. <laughs> I don't know if you recognize, but a few months ago we came to this exact place. We stayed on this Airbnb in April, and then we liked so much the place that we were like, when we moved to France, we we're going to spend a month looking for a place to live, and we we're going to live on the Airbnb. I mean, this time we're not even going to look for a place to live, we're going to look for a car to live. It's about time to start working. Welcome to our boat, our oh, vineyard. <laughs> I don't know if you know, but uh, the idea is to build a boat from scratch with Meta boat yards. So they're gonna build the hole and we are gonna build the rest of the boat. And for that, we need a place to live. So they allowed us to stay here to use the, their tools and their knowledge to build a tiny house into the van. Hello. We just bought a van. <laughs> oh, you didn't know that yet. Oh, we didn't tell you we bought a van? <laughs> I guess we need to show you when we went to pick up the van then. But then we can come back to here. So we just arrived in France. Today is our first day and we already have a new project while the boat ones is still in development. Yeah, the thing is, we are still developing the design of the boat with the designer and we don't want to rush and build a boat with mistakes because we hush and it's much cheaper to fix mistakes on paper than on when you're building so we decide we're gonna take an extra two months to design the boat in the meanwhile I think we're gonna buy a van a cargo van I don't think it's gonna be this one we're just taking a look now because this is too short we want a little bit longer <laughs> so we can have a head inside actually the idea is started with like a tiny just one. a tiny one just to sleep and that's it, it grew wait grew. in the beginning someone didn't agree that she could leave while we built the boat on the van now that someone agreed that we can do that it needs to be house. a little bit bigger so the idea right now is to buy a longer van convert that into a house and we can live on the van while we build the boat but first we need to find the right van there are so many options so we are planning on having l3 yeah h2 that's it yeah that's the idea so it's <laughs> length three high two that's that's our goal it's been like two weeks that we decided to do that so duke is studying a lot about it why i'm i'm trying to edit and do a lot of other things but don't worry, the boat's gonna happen. The boat's actually, we already paid for the design. So the boat is happening right now. On it's just like two time. parallel jobs, but we cannot sit and wait for the boat. We need to, you know, we need to do something in between. <laughs> so do you see yourself leaving on something like that? 
For sure. It's gonna be just so cool. I don't know if you know, but I love tiny houses. Seems like one more bag arrived. Yeah, that's probably the main one. It's a good one. Still, there are two bags lost. I hope they find it. They will, eventually. Every day we have, a, we have a new route to go to places and this one is really nice. Yeah, so based on what they're doing, we have like a perimeter of 100 kilometers around the high, the place we are right now. And we are going to different spots to check different stores to see which car to buy. So now we decided we're gonna try one, two or three different towns, depends on our lucky. Uh, we're gonna right now to a city that is 45 minutes south. And in this city there is a store that has a lot of different options of brands of cargo vans and they're all brand new but the price is so low that I'm, I mean like if it's to pay two extra thousand euros and get a brand new instead of used one it might be worth but I just believe when I see it I want to see and even though if we don't buy there we can see different models and compare different models it's such a big investment to transform the cargo van into a proper house and we're gonna have such good equipment because we have such good partners to build the van like Zentrax and these and that and we're gonna have like a really well built van and sometimes it's worth the little extra to get a brand new you know raw van than having a really old one and then no matter what you do to the old one it's gonna still be an old one that's my thought at least even if we don't find anyone that we like we're getting to know the country it's really nice actually we're going through all different kinds of places like highways little roads middle of houses middle of trees middle of forest awesome i, I think the way to actually see a country is to ask Google to take you to a road without toes because <laughs> the reason why we're doing all these crazy ways is because we said I don't want to pay toes it's really expensive toes last one was 10 euros so I was like nope avoid toes so we get to know the country and that's a good thing actually <laughs> that's pretty cool it's so pretty what a special day today what are you gonna do we're gonna get the addition to our family. Yeah, today we are finally, we've been waiting for two weeks to keep up, to pick up, not keep up, to pick up Oditi. Yeah, Oditi is finally coming home today. <laughs> Do you know who Oditi is? You're gonna see, it's big, massive. We're gonna have a ride with our friend. Now we're good to go. Now you can have Here we go. Our first time. Here we go. I love this. Me too. The view of here is amazing. <laughs> All right. We managed to get here. That's something. I'm excited. Welcome to. <laughs> yeah. So good news is Meta, the boat yard, right behind us. Yeah. If you don't know that. We're in France because we're going to actually build a boat, not a van. The van is just like a step up to go to the boat. So Matt allowed us, while we work on the design with them and while they build our hull, we can actually work next to the yard. So in this case, if we need any tools, they have tools. If we need to help them with something, if they have questions about the design, about something that we can help, we are right here. So that means we can work here. But the first day, we don't need any tools. We basically need masking tape to show you the layout we are planning. Not just to show the layout, to prove the layout. That's the layout we're thinking about. We're not 100% sure. And tomorrow we have a meeting. Oh, by the way, we didn't explain you about that. So we found out that's a lot trickier than we imagined, actually, because one thing is to buy a van and build a house inside. That's one thing. The other thing is to actually get the van approved by the government to become an RV. So we decided we're going to do it properly, aren't we? Oh. <laughs> By the way, we have friends here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So let's start from the beginning. The only way to start a build like this is to mess the layout. We need to understand the inside of the van, and in order to understand the inside of the van, we need to start laying lines here. Oh, your yes. friend there. You know, Bonjour. You're, gonna, you're gonna see her many a times. lot. Yeah. That's Salome. She's the one that saves us anytime we need in France. So she works for Meta and everything we do depends on her because we don't speak French enough yet. Oh, no, so, no, 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 you speak first. So, so Sam, Sam, I mean, Sam, Sam is a proof that we understand much better already. Oh, yeah. We are learning. Oh, yeah, I've seen. You can't say anything in French now because they'll know. <laughs> yeah, so now. The you want to know our layout? You want to see the layout for yes. the first time? I will explain her and then I'm going to explain you. <laughs> That's the door. The kitchen is here. Mm -hmm. Then a, a bench, big one, for the office. The bed is all the way to here, so that's the whole bed. Mm. But then during the day, you do like this, and you can fold it on, and then you open the office. So mm. this becomes like a really big desk. You yes. just open the desk here. Mm. So the galley, uh, I mean the kitchen, <laughs> 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 so, the kitchen like so the sink here, two burners here, the entry here, this uh, closed shower head uh -huh. with toilet. So the toilet is gonna be hidden on this. Uh, area, mm -hmm. so you're gonna slide when you want to use a toilet, just slide, and there's a toilet. When you don't, you want to take a shower, just slide Actually, back. Oh, when you nice. want to take a shower, you put this back. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> probably on the top of that is gonna be the fridge, mm -hmm. like a door fridge. Yeah, and then if we have a kid, that's the uh, bunk bed on the top here. Mm, okay. Yeah, so now the idea is to put just tape, just to apply masking tape around and to see the spaces mm. so we can try to understand. So I think it's gonna be pretty cool. For now, I know it sounds confusing all of that, but that's how every project starts. We need to, you know, dream, experiment, talk to the professionals, see what we can approve, what we cannot approve, because this is gonna be a approved event. That's that's so awesome. You know, you're gonna do it properly. If we're gonna put all this effort in something, we need to do it properly. We're gonna have a certificated event, and then we are gonna have a certificated board. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Yeah, we're gonna do all according to how it's supposed to be, otherwise, Every year when we need to redo the plate of the car, we're going to have trouble. We're not going to be able to do it, so we need to do it properly. So now I think we're ready for the meeting tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to go... I, I didn't mention it already. Yeah, so now we are driving for one and a half hours to go to the shop where they convert camper, uh, cargo vans into camper vans. I think we explained already because they're going to help us with the bureaucracy of doing the paperwork to convert. The paperwork of the van. It's so cool when you find a contact online and you connect a lot when you meet the person in person. One of the guys that works on the shop, he went to Brazil already, he knows a, a lot of Portuguese. It's so weird that he even knows the owner of Meta, the guy we're working with <laughs> for our boat. That's so awesome and they're just like young people like us and with dreams and that like to do things with their own hands. So and quality. I think, yeah, I think and they also like quality. Yeah, I think we have a lot in common and that's gonna be awesome because I think we can work together in a really good way to make this van look spiffy. So in real life, what's gonna happen now is we cannot start working right away on the van. First of all, they're gonna go on vacations for two weeks. But more than that, we have two boat shows to attend with the boat yard that is gonna build our boat, Meta. We are really excited to start working on this van. 